We've been following the story all morning. The NSA's top lawyer says U.S. technology companies were well aware of the agency's widespread data collection, directly contradicting months of denials from top technology executives. Bob Dole is with me here. We've been talking about that along with investing today. And I want to bring in former Apple CEO Gil Emilio uh, with his take. Gil, nice to have you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. So is this a surprise to you that the tech companies knew all along? What did you know, for example? Well, I, I, obviously we knew that uh, they, they had a collection program going on. We've known for many, many years they've done that. I, to me, it wasn't a surprise. I was, I was actually surprised that people were surprised, put it that way. Okay. So, so what, what are we to make of this? Is just this the new normal? I mean, there were a lot of denials that, look, you know, the tech companies were saying, we are going to protect this information. We are going to keep this information uh, of our users private and anonymized. Uh, what should people understand about this? Well, well, you know, I think that um, nobody wants to be identified as, 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 as sort of talking about their friends and their associates and their business partners, you know, sort of behind the scenes. And so they, they're, they're, I think what they're trying to do is just deny that association. But, but the, the fact of the matter is we've known that for a long, long time. Bob? So, so, so Gil, how, how should Ma and Pa, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, feel about this? Um, that is to say, is their privacy safe? Well, the truth is that in the world of the Internet, there is actually very little privacy anyway. And to the extent that that information is used responsibly to deal with crime and other things, I don't have a, personally don't have a big problem with it. Uh, so, so, so. I don't, I, you know, I haven't seen much in the way of abuse in, in, in it. It's just the people's concern that they want their privacy respected. But privacy, like I said, isn't really been... Uh, is, is it doesn't really exist anymore. Mm -hmm. so, so great, great observation, Gil. We probably need need to understand that reality. But but now take it the next step. If if anybody can get my information, shouldn't I be concerned that the wrong people are going to get my information, do nasty things with it? And we've well, seen some should, of that. It, but is that going to proliferate now? Sh sure, you've seen that. I mean, recently Adobe had a uh, had people access their uh, you know their credit card files on their uh, in their on their. Uh, corporate uh, databases, and uh, and and that that caused them, you know, quite a stir and 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 a lot of concern. So sure, you've got to be worried about that. I just don't know how you stop it. So so, so let me let me move on to uh, to the broader technology space here and get your take on what's going on. We know that Apple has revolutionized so much in this space, and mobility has revolutionized uh, so many industries. How would you characterize where things are going now in terms of technology? Where is the growth? Well, let's, let's face it, the, the, the two mega trends of our era have been mobile communications and the Internet, and those two things are feeding each other and causing additional growth as a, as, as a consequence of that. Uh, we see that the, the, the one aspect of mobile communications that has not been, I think, adequately addressed is the fact that sometimes people can't make a call because they can't connect, or they're in their car or elsewhere and they drop a call because of poor coverage. And so I have started a, with, with some colleagues a company that is uh, just introduced at Mobile World Congress uh, last month, uh, a product that, that addresses that problem. And we're very excited about that. Five, five Bars International. That's right. Yeah, tell us about it. Well, it, it, it's a network extender product. And what it does is it uses very advanced semiconductor and electronics technology to pull those, those base station signals out of the noise Reamplifies them and then broadcasts them wherever you have this. So it's a little box. The installation is trivial. You just plug it in the wall and forget it. But if you live in a home or an office where you have lousy cell phone coverage, and I have friends, for example, who live in Tiburon uh, in, in Northern California who don't get good coverage up there because they, the phone companies can't get the right of ways, they can put one of these in their homes, plug it in, and then they're going to have five bars. All right. So, so in other words, you're, you're really addressing the lack of signal. Uh, that, that so many people so many people have. What about the growth in terms of what's next for mobility? Where do you see the biggest impact of this next revolution of mobility? Which, which industry? Uh, well, what, what I, I, first of all, let's talk about the consumers. The consumer, more and more people are doing uh, the Internet and purchasing, e-commerce, all of that stuff from their mobile device as opposed to from a desktop or a computer or even a laptop computer. And so, so what you're seeing is a lot of traffic has been moving 
you know, off of the off of the computers onto the mobile devices. So mobile devices are becoming becoming ever ever more important. In, in terms of of selecting a particular uh, industry, clearly I still think the services sector is still the big one. Uh, m a lot of people are shopping for better insurance coverage or or what have you, and and I still think that is is has got a lot of legs in it. Uh, Gil, slightly change the subject again. Corporate capital spending on technology in the last couple of years has been 3%. What makes that a bigger number this year? Uh, is the recession going to be over? Is, are, we, are we really going to start to see, you know, good healthy growth? Is the United States going to have, have a chance at getting a 4% uh, GDP growth? I don't know. Uh, I, I would say that uh, given policies that uh, are in place right now, that's going to be very difficult. And I think people have, have, have dialed back some of their investment. There are some companies, though, and as I said, in the special in the telecom sector, uh, that have continued to up their, their capital investment. And I think that will continue. Uh, Gil, let me ask you your take on Apple at this point. Um, you were the CEO at, at, at Apple right. for a time. There's some speculation that uh, there's some worry out there that the company has stopped innovating. Do you see a dearth of new products? What are you expecting from Apple? They, they, they need to have, they need to startle the world again. Um, Apple has, has had this idea, you know, this, this notion of doing things in very dark, deep secret. And then when they finally ready, they launch in a very big way. And, uh, and everyone is sort of taken by surprise and they stand in line to buy whatever it is that Apple has announced. Uh, but that hasn't happened in a while. Uh, and, 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 and people are saying, well, what's going on? You know, is there a problem? I, I don't think there's a fundamental problem. I do think, though, that they are having more competition than they than they anticipated they would. And uh, let, let's let's face it, one of the one of the major products they introduced that has not done very well is Siri, uh, and it was it was introduced with great promise and great excitement, but it really hasn't lived up to uh, to to its expectations. So I think that they have some more work to do, uh, but they especially need to come out with something that. Everyone says, wow. Yeah. Do they have the wherewithal to do it? Are you expecting oh, yeah. them to do it? Yeah. Look, the, uh, tremendously talented workforce and, 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 and people out there. It's just all the easy stuff has been done. It's now getting re to the really hard stuff. So uh, that, that's, that's the way I see it. It's not just hard stuff. It's the law of large numbers, too. Uh, well, I think Apple's right. a better chance than most to do it, as you suggest. Right, to make right. a difference, it's got to be a lot bigger than when the company was smaller, agreed? That, 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 that's right. I mean, if we could introduce a product that made, I don't know, 50 million a year or something like that, that was great. That, that's a drop in the bucket for Apple now. So yes. they, they, they really have to come up with big ideas. And let's, let's face it, that, that is increasingly difficult to do. Uh, what, you know, the other question is what's, what's going to happen in, in the computer space? Uh, as I said, I, I think there's a slow migration away from traditional computers into mobile kinds of devices and mobile platforms. That is good, and I think that trend is going to continue. So what do they do about that? Okay, they have the iPad, they have the iPhone, but they need to take it to the next step. They need to add features and technologies and capabilities that make it easier to interact uh, with your device while you're on the go and still have all the satisfaction of a robust uh, network experience. Who, who's the best competitor to Apple? Who's out there that possibly could be poised to, to take the leadership from, from Apple? Well, I'd, I wouldn't say they would take the leadership, but clearly Samsung uh, in the, in the, in the uh, iPhone or t uh, mobile phone space has, uh, is, is now has a larger share of the market than, uh, than Apple does and is, and is growing rapidly. They're pouring unbelievable amounts of money behind it. Uh, I would keep my eye on Samsung. All right, we'll do that. Gil, good to have you on the program. We so appreciate your time today and uh, host my of pleasure. subjects. We'll see you Thanks soon. A lot, Maria. We'll, we will be uh -huh. watching uh, Five Bars International. Best of luck with it. Please, please do. Please Gil Emilio joining much. us. Thank